In this video, I'll show you how to set up your Mac computer with your HP LaserJet M140W or WE. Both models are the same. So first of all, I'll show you how to connect and then I'll show you how to print and also how to scan using the Wi-Fi. Let's get started. So the first step is to go on the control panel of your printer. Over here, we have the Wi-Fi icon. If it's currently blinking blue, it means that the printer is in pairing mode. This is great. You don't have to do anything at this point. If your button is not blinking blue like mine, don't worry. Simply press the Wi-Fi button and the X button, just like this, for about five seconds until the power button blinks. Once it starts blinking, remove your finger from these buttons. Wait around 15-30 uh, seconds and then the Wi-Fi button will start blinking blue, which means that it will be in pairing mode. Next, we need to go on the Mac. So on your Mac computer, what we need to do next is to go on the App Store. So on the Mac, so go in the launch pad if you don't know how. Open the App Store should be one of the first options. And from here in the search bar, type HP Smart. We absolutely need to download the HP Smart App to be able to connect the printer to your Wi-Fi network. So over here, HP Smart for desktop, it's this. Go ahead and download it. Let me open it. The app looks like this. It will ask you to sign in into your HP account. The good news is that you are not obligated to do so. So I'll press skip for now. I'll click allow and now I'll click on add your first printer. Select new printer on the left side. Wait a few seconds, it will search for your HP printer and since it's in pairing mode, it should appear. If your printer is not appearing on this list after a minute of wait, click on printer not listed and then select Wi-Fi. Press continue, continue, allow, and here we go. Your printer should appear this time. I don't know why you have to do this thing, but hey, if it works, that's great. Press allow, type the Wi-Fi password that your Mac computer is currently connected to. Press continue. They'll ask you to press the Wi-Fi button off your um, printer, press on it once and the setup will continue on your Mac. Then press continue. Here you're not obligated to click on accept all. This is just HP asking you if you want to share some personal information with you. So the way you're using your printer so they can improve their service. Uh, you can accept all or click on decline optional data, which is the one I will select. Now, if your computer is stuck on this page more than two minutes, go ahead and close. Open back HP Smart App. And your printer should be on the top. Again, this is just another bug. If you see finish setup, well, the good news is that you do not need to finish the setup and actually you don't need the HP Smart App ever again because I'll show you how to print and how to scan without using this app that in my opinion doesn't work well um, all the time. So if you want to print anything on your Mac, open the file, could be a picture, although this printer is not really great for pictures, or let's say you're on the internet Let's say I want to print this page. I simply need to go on the file on the upper upper left side, click print. And now under printer here, select your HP um, M14W. Next, we need to make sure that these settings are OK with you. So let's say I just want to print the first page. I'll just select range one to one. And finally, I'll press the print. Actually, just before pressing, make sure that you have some paper inserted because everything will go quite quickly. Extend the output tray. 
and now I'll press the print button. This printer prints quite quickly and here we go, we got our result. Now how do you scan using this printer and get the results on your Mac computer? Open the scan lid, take your document and place it facing down with the top part of your document towards the left side, like this. Now we need to align this corner of the document with this corner of the printer, so make sure both of them are touching. So push it until it reaches the edge there. Close the lid. Let me close this. Now go on the top left corner where you see the Apple logo. Select System Settings. Go down on the left menu until you select Printers and Scanners. In this list you should see your HP printer, this is mine, click on it. And from here you're gonna have Open Scanner, click on Open Scanner. Then on the left side click on your printer once again. Wait a few seconds. It will give you a preview what's on the scanner. This preview is not saved uh, on your computer yet. It's just a preview. We can change a few different things. So on the right side you have color or black and white as you wish. I'll keep it color. You have resolution. If you have a text file with some graphics like the one that I have right now, keep it at 200 dpi. This is enough for most people. But if you're trying to scan, let's say, an artwork, a painting, something with a lot of fine details, you better select 600, which is the maximum resolution this scanner is capable of. Then we have size. You can select the size of the document you just have input. Mine is just a US letter size uh, paper, so I'll leave it like this. And all over here we have scan to, so select in which folder you'd like the scan document to go. I'll select desktop and you can give this document a new name so you can type anything test files printer insider okay then we have format you can select in which format you want the results to be in if it's a text document um, most people will prefer PDF instead of the default JPEG finally we have image correction do not touch this we don't need that and press the scan button if you have selected 200 dpi, it will take around 12 seconds for the scan to happen. So right now it's scanning. Let's check on the screen. You're going to get a confirmation right over here that it has been completed. Here we go, scan results. And if we check on the desktop, the result already appeared. And here we go. You can even zoom in just to make sure that there is enough details. And as you see, this has been scanned at 200 dpi and there's plenty, plenty of details. So this is it. I hope my video was helpful. If so, if you want to support my channel, I'm just asking for a like, a subscribe. And if you have a bit more time and you want to buy some ink cartridges or some paper or even a brand new printer, check my Amazon links down below. I get a very small commission from Amazon every time somebody goes through them. So again, thanks, have a beautiful day and uh, yeah, comment down below if you have something to say.